Hi, I'm Reba with AppliancePartsPros.com. I'm gonna show you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breaker's off so there's no chance of electrocution. I'm gonna show you how to change your ice dispenser auger for your GE refrigerator. Now it's a quick repair, should only take a few minutes. If you already have the part, great. If not, you can click the link below or you can go to AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open the package, you'll get your ice dispenser auger. The ice dispenser auger rotates to pull the ice out of the bin so you can get it out of your refrigerator. If you're not getting ice or if it's not making ice, you might need to change your auger. Let's get started. Let's go into the freezer to get to the ice maker. All right, you'll notice there's even a picture right here on how to pull your ice bin out. Just pull it out like one of your crisper trays. And now we have access to the auger. Now that we've got the ice bin removed from the freezer, let's open this baby up. When you flip it upside down, you'll see two anchor screws right here. I'm gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to pull those out. Flip it back over, and you'll see these two tabs. This is when two flathead screwdrivers comes in real handy. Kind of working like as Edward Scissorhand here. Just insert the screwdrivers into the tabs, and you can pull, pull those tabs loose. So now the top part will come off. There's a third anchor screw underneath the cover. I'll go ahead and take that off too. Now that this anchor screw's out, you can release this pin. We'll save this for when we put it back together. Flip the bin back over, and we've got to do that Edward scissor hand move again. This time, there are two tabs located on either side. Get your screwdriver in there on both sides to press those tabs. Got to really wedge it in there. Now this piece right here can lift out, kind of shimmy it out. We're getting closer to our auger. This piece right here twists out. And now we'll use a flathead screwdriver to remove the E-clip. It's connected under the auger nut in three places. Kind of have to wedge it from the back side. Just the top one first. Take the washer off. Now we'll take the auger nut off. Now it's left hand threaded, so clockwise to loosen. I'm using a pair of pliers here. Now that the auger nut is off, we'll take these blades out along with the washers, making sure to keep them in perfect order. You gotta remember how they go because we gotta put them on the new auger. Here's the old ice dispenser auger next to the new one. If you already have it, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. Remembering how we took 
our blades and washers off is very important. That's why I like to stack them in a line. putting a puzzle together. Now we'll put the auger nut back on. Remember, it's left hand threaded, so counterclockwise to tighten. Make sure it's tightened. Once the auger nut is back in, we'll put it back in the housing. Then we'll flip it over and put the E-clip back on, the auger nut. wedge it back in there with this screwdriver. Got to make sure it's in those grooves right there underneath the auger nut. Now the face plate is thread back through the auger with this compartment facing inside. this assembly back into the ice maker. Remember the tabs on both sides. Put the bottom of the auger in first over here. Line it up. Lock it down. So we'll put the bracket on. Now the clip side faces out so that once you thread it through it's on the right direction. There are two notches in this pin. We'll make sure those are in place before we anchor this bracket down. In order to set the spring so we'll have the appropriate amount of tension for this pin, we'll make sure the spring is touching the pin. Then we'll begin to twist it so that the pin is leaning against the spring, setting the tension. Now we're ready to open our flap here and set our tension pin inside. Once inside, we can make sure that this bracket is within the notch. And put our anchoring screw in. This bracket and anchor screw along with this spring provide the right amount of tension to open the door. Now we'll put on the final ice bin cover, the tabs, go on the top, push them in to lock it down, flip it over, two more anchor screws here, and we're ready to get this baby back in the ice maker. With your auger in place, we simply slide the ice bin back in. Ice maker's back in, shut the freezer door, plug her back in, and she's ready to go. Thanks for being a part of another successful do-it-yourself repair. Share your repair with us on Facebook and look for all your repair needs at appliancepartspros.com.